Hello and welcome to everyone watching. My name is Raven Crossing. This is my fifth time trying to record this, and today we're going to be discussing The Last of Us 2 leaks. So if you don't want to get this game spoiled for you, leave now. That is an order, not a suggestion. I'm kidding. I love you guys. Follow me on Patreon. Also, new setup. I'm standing. Look at this. I'm... I'm stand... Shit. Standing setup. I, I like it. I, I think faster. Kind of. Anyway, enough dilly-dallying. Well, let's get into the leaks. Let's go. So the first thing that a lot of people had issue with was Ellie's relationship with a new character named Dina. Uh, there's this whole really weird thing where the two, uh, obviously they're in a romantic relationship and they want to have a kid. And apparently a different character named Jesse, who is a dude, uh, gets Dina pregnant so they can have a kid. I mean, good for them, but... Dear God, it's weird. Honestly, it really just feels like they're really trying to ham-fist the whole LGBT thing. Uh, I mean, again, I don't mind it, but it's... It's weird. Let's just, it's, 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 it's fucking weird, man. Anyway, second thing in the leaks, we actually know who the antagonist of this game is going to be. It's going to be the character of Abby. We actually saw her in this E3 trailer. I think it was E3. It might have been something else, but we saw her in a trailer. A lot of people are saying this character is trans when she's not. There's literally been nothing to suggest this character is trans other than the fact that she has a very muscular body. Uh, she's just a very muscular woman. That's really all there is to it there. She is apparently uh, the daughter of one of the doctors that Joel killed at the end of the first game. Which, I mean, you know, maybe a little lazy, but it's some solid motivation. I'll give him that. And now we start to get into uh, the big no-nos of this story, in my opinion. The moments where you hear that they did this, and you can't possibly comprehend why they would do such a thing. That thing being uh, apparently halfway through the game, uh, Joel is beaten to death with a golf club by Ellie, while Ellie is held down to watch. Anyway, after this point in the game, you then play the second half of the game as Abby trying to hunt down Ellie. Why she wouldn't just kill her at the same time as Joel, I have no idea, but oh well. This is the big problem that a lot of people have with this story. I mean, the lesbian family stuff, I mean, it's weird, but it's not exactly abhorrent in its context. But this, I mean, this is borderline insulting to the fans who, who love this character and this story so much. It was really maddening for me personally, because I personally consider Joel to be one of the best protagonists in any game ever. And to find out that he got his head beat in with a golf club halfway through the game, honestly, that's awful. That is a terrible choice to make as a storyteller. And also, this whole thing of playing as Abby for the second half of the game, tracking down Ellie... Why? And yes, after reading the leaks, I understand what the point of the game is, and that being that violence only creates more violence. I understand that. That being said, I don't need to pay a game studio $60 for them to ham-fist that down my throat for 15 hours. So yeah, the death of Joel is borderline insulting. I neither like it as a gamer or a storyteller. I think it's an incredibly bad decision to make. And finally, the other big issue with this game that a lot of people are taking issue with is the ending. Now, I've actually heard a lot of conflicting reports about this. Some people are saying that Abby and Ellie have a confrontation at the end of the game, but Abby ultimately walks away. And some people are saying that Abby actually kills Ellie, and the game ends with her friends rallying to go after Abby for what is, I can only assume, to be The Last of Us Part 3. Both of which I am not satisfied with. This game is really just coming across to me as just the laziest form of storytelling. They're not treating the death of Joel as a send-off for a great character, they're treating it as weak motivation for Ellie to keep doing what she's doing. And I hate it when writers reduced characters that I love so much to such a low, meaningless degree. It's honestly frustrating. And the way Sony and Naughty Dog are handling criticism for these leaks is honestly just hilariously pathetic. From Sony DMCA and YouTube channels that even talk about the leaks, we're talking just just speaking about them, not even showing any leaked gameplay or any of the leaked, uh, any of the written leaks. Just talking about these leaks are getting people's channels copyright striked, which is utterly ridiculous. And Neil Druckmann, the director of this game, pretty much said if you don't like the game then you're sexist and homophobic, which 
Yeah, that's why people don't like this game. The gays. Never mind the fact that we knew Ellie was gay for seven years and still loved her regardless. No, no, it's the gays, bro. It's, everyone's homophobic. No one likes the gays. But yeah, to make a long story, uh, or rather a short story even shorter, uh, I'm not buying this game. I don't think it does the characters that I love so much justice, and I see no reason to play it. That's my opinion. But as always, I encourage you to, uh, to make your own. I am really lightheaded for some reason. That's all I have for you for now, so if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and if you want to become a patron, what? A patron on my Patreon page. The link to that will also be in the description. Super low prices, I'm not asking for much. Please, your consideration would mean the world to me. Thank you all so much for watching once again, and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day.